got him. He was uh, away 120 plus southbound. Now he's opening it back up again southbound. The wild, wild west on Detroit streets. Michigan State Police chopper video shows a driver literally burning his way down Gratiot. Cops say the car was overheating with flames already visible. But for whatever reason, this guy was out and about with no regard for those around him. Southbound on Gratiot center turn lane. Probably got pedal the floor wide open, almost rear-ended somebody. Usually most people don't drive that fast after, you know, the sirens and the lights go off. Um, this guy in uh, particular seems to be just enjoying the fact that he could drive so fast and so dangerously. They were able to kind of get him to a point where he switched out um, because he was having some trouble with that particular vehicle was starting to catch fire underneath, under in the undercarriage. And then once he switched over and got in the passenger seat of that second car, uh, the aviation unit was able to follow him and get him in a good spot to where DPD could box him in and take them both into custody. Lieutenant Shaw says state police put this video out there on their social media pages to show people the dangers of reckless driving at a time when cops are cracking down on speeding across the state. They say speeding is a big factor in the fatal crashes they see now more often. We're, we're seeing drivers doing in the excess of 100 miles an hour on our freeways. We're seeing people drive like this, you know, on, on the side streets into our neighborhoods. And it's been going on for a couple, three years now. I can't quite to find what happened during that time. A lot of people say maybe it was COVID, but we're seeing it a little bit before then too, where people get in this own little bubble of their car and they just don't have any respect for other people's lives or other people's property. Meantime, state police, they're not just enforcing their anti-speeding campaign. Of course, with the new year coming up upon us, they're going to be out there looking for drunk drivers and even drivers smoking weed in any way being impaired. They say be warned if you don't make the right decisions, they will pull you over and you will face the consequences. Dave Kimchin on the edge.